Hey all, this is Cody with Swamp Dog Armory again right. up here at the 2022 Gun Con event. Here with my buddy over here at the SLWW booth. Uh, how's it going, man? Doing really well. Uh, having a good time, meeting a lot of cool people. Um, the crowd's pretty, pretty engaging and a lot, of, a lot of interesting companies and all that here. So, having a good time. Awesome. So what is it that you guys do? Okay, so Special Operations Wounded Warriors is a charity that was started uh, with the understanding that the Special Operations community is relatively underserved when it comes to being able to give support to the guys. And, and the, the reason for that is um, the community that they're from is a small, tight-knit community that's, you know, everybody hears the term quiet professional, but it's not just a motto, it's, it's really the life they live. And so getting them to be able to get support in a way that uh, really makes sense is a challenge for them oftentimes. And so we are set up to support only the special operations community. Uh, we don't want to bite off more than we can chew. We focus where we can to help as many as we can. And so everybody that we help is a, special, is a verified special operations uh, veteran. Many of them have at least one Purple Heart. Um, they are, a lot of times when you guys who are on active duty, yeah. and uh, a lot of them that have left have moved on to do other things within the government, and so, you know, it's getting guys off the couch, getting them outside, teaching them that they're not alone, there's a team still here. Yeah, like I said, it's expanding on that whole brotherhood. A absolutely, and, and letting them know you're not alone, uh, there are people here that can help, and uh, once we get them out at a hunting event or a fishing event, uh, we get to meet them, we get to talk to them, and understand what other level of support we need. And so we have PTSD retreats, we have a service canine program where we uh, get people trained on, on the the rigors of having a service dog in your life every day, yeah. right? And and then we actually purchase the dog uh, and supply them with the dog and all the things they're going to need to have the dog live in their house. And, yeah, and, and, and all the supplies. And all, all the supplies. I mean, when you start looking at service dogs, I mean, just a just a quality crate's an $800 crate. Yeah. Right? So, and it's the little things add up quick. Um, so, we are here at this event to let people know we're, we're one of Brownells. Uh, preferred charities yeah. and kind of meet the community and let people know who we are, what we do. And then uh, we have two basic asks, you know, and I think you and I have talked about this already. And that is, if you're somebody that has something to give, um, as a charity, we believe that we're pretty good stewards. All of us are volunteers. We have one paid employee, she's a part-time secretary, lives in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, because we all have jobs, and when yeah. it comes to answering the phones in the mail, it, it, we're, we're not going to be able to complete that task, so we have her. But about 96 cents of every dollar that we bring in goes directly to the people that we support. That's and, awesome. And so if you have something to give, we'll be good stewards of your money and make sure that it's taken care of to the right people. But then if you are a veteran and you know somebody in your life and your community that is a veteran that falls within our charter, uh, please help us actually get to where we can find more people because when you find the people that have lived at the tip of the spear and gone and done the things they do, that quiet professional, they're not good at asking for or receiving was, that's help. All, just as I say, that, that, that's the, specifically the kind of folks that is not going to reach out. No, they don't ask for help. You know, it's in, and one of the things that they're used to doing is um, somebody needs more than me, right? Exactly. When you, you, you live the life where your guys eat before you do, and so you, you kind of go through the process of making sure that everybody else is taken care of and you realize but uh, and, and one of the things that we have to explain to people is you're not taking somebody else's seat when we help you what you're doing is you're allowing us to continue our mission because if we don't get people to support then we don't get to continue yeah. trying to you so might get to do what that's you're exactly to right do. that's exactly right awesome well i appreciate you talking with us y'all check them out special operations wounded warriors